Who do I know? Ah, we're out in the world again. We have the world to explore. Okay, maybe this fight was faster because you brought me all the way out of the castle. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. <laughs> wow, she really had to waste a smoke bomb on that? Wow. If you, uh, if you use a smoke bomb every time you need to <laughs> do that, then uh, you're probably going to run out pretty quick, or it's going to get, like, pretty expensive. But yeah, let's see, except you can't listen to music while you're at work, but you can listen to it on the drive to work and back from work. At least there's a, that is a really good soundtrack right there. I can link you some of the really specific and really cool ones if you want at some point, Guzma. I would backwalk more often, but, like, it stops me sometimes. I don't know if it's my controller. It didn't stop me that time, though. Whee! Up we go! <laughs> oh, look at this. We made it to Kakariko Village. We made it to the place. Alright, let's go. Also, your laptop just decided to restart and take it 3,000 years. It's barely cleaning up your laptop. Sounds about right. That's, uh, that's a Windows for you. Come here, you. Come here, you. I don't know if I remember all the Cuckoo locations. I'm not quite sure if I do. But yeah, I remember. I do remember from back in the day when I was, like, trying to <laughs> briefly learn to speedrun this. You gotta- wait, is it up here? No, it's around here. Um, right here. And there's this lady who's lost her cuckoos. They've all escaped, and, uh, you need to bring them all back into the pen. I think I need this one to get to the other side here. Am I losing my mind? And then I, like, throw this one and another one over. Yep, yep, yep. That isn't- gosh dang, I didn't mean to jump down here. So I remember I would, like, you know, clip out of the forest, come over here, get a bottle. This was the way to do it. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that I remembered to take the cuckoo over that, uh, over that thing, Rob, to get this one. But yeah, is any of the ones with the epic guitar metal and stuffs? Can do. So you get those two. Whoops, didn't quite mean to jump up that way. Navi really wants to tell me something. Really wants to tell me something or other. So then you get this one here, and then you have all these three, uh, you know, where they need to be. Whee! Yeah, saying cleaning up, but yeah, it's been 0% complete for the longest time. Yep. That's Windows for ya. That's Windows in a nutshell. I didn't throw any of them into the well by accident, did I? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Did the update last night? So did I, but also because my computer was being, like, really weird. <laughs> was the thing. So now I gotta open like my bazillion folders that I have for my bazillion playthroughs once again. <laughs> Every time my computer restarts. Hello, hello, Mythic. How go things today? Man, it's so nice being to say, being able to say hello, hello. I know that the uh, 24 hour cherry stream was like a few weeks ago at this point, but I feel like I still have PTSD of not being able to say hello, you know? Um, the stream's going pretty alrighty. We're making good progress through all of time here. I've been streaming for an hour and a half. We've cleared the first dungeon. We're in Kakariko. We're making a our way to the second dungeon now. Was there one up here? It sounds in my headphones like there's one up here. Um, it took you like five minutes. Is your computer just being weird, Guzma? Nope, nothing like that here. Is that person up on the roof? It sounded like there was one up there. Whee! Okay, like there's this one that's here. I don't know if it was just sound- Gosh dang it, no! <laughs> I don't know if it was just sounding weird in my headphones and this is the last one. Oh, no, there's one over there. Because it sounds like there's one up above as well, it sounds like. Wait, is this another one that I need to carry one? I think it is, isn't it? But yeah, this is only 3D Legend of Zelda game you've ever played. It honestly didn't vibe with it. I mean, what era did you play it in? Whoa. Because I mean... Wait. Hmm. Can I... Hmm. I feel like Four Swords, the DS version is the one you played like two years ago. Interesting. Because, yeah, I feel like it's one of those games that's, you know, 
interesting to play, putting it into the context of the time. By modern standards, it might not be as good. Oh, I can get you up there. Wait, but how do I get up here? Can I not just... Oh gosh dang it, how hard did I screw myself? Oh, I probably need to jump from the roof there. I mean, did the cuckoo just fall down? Um, well, I don't have to do it. It's a, it's a maybe there. Because, you know, I was the one that donated to uh, bring it up to 2k, so I said like, hmm, it's a, it's a maybe then. Is the thing. If I did start, it would have to be sooner rather than later to, uh, you know, be before Scarlet and Violet releases. So I'll, um, you know, I'll consider it. Uh, no. Gosh dang, how do I get this one? How do I get it? Uh, for people to make a vote for it as well as the starter. I already have one in mind. And I have a starter in mind as well. Is the thing. I was thinking, uh, you know, since I chose Oshawa already in Legends Arceus, I would probably go with, like, Snivy's. Or Snivy. Most likely is what I would do. And then if we ever do, like, Black 2 and White 2, I'd probably do Oshawa. And I probably... <laughs> and if the day ever comes I do Black 2 and White 2, I hope that we'd have gotten, like, farther through the Metal Gear series by that point. And I think that I would, uh... <laughs> I would call the Oshawa Revolver one of Snake's main antagonists, after all. Revolver Oshawa. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, here we go. Jeez. Get out of here. So, I don't, I don't know what I nicknamed the uh, Snivy. I never choose Tepic, I always go with, like, Snivy or Oshawa, so I was thinking that, like, Black and White, since I already chose Oshawa for, like, Legends Arceus, I'd go with, like, Snivy for Black and White, and then Revolver Oshawa for a Black 2, White 2. But yeah, so they emailed that. Yeah, because I rounded it up to 2k, because that was my contribution. I dropped, like, $200 to bring it up to that. Like, if I go to the rewards thing, it wasn't that 200 was raised by, like, the stream itself that was donated by people around the, uh, community. I donated over $200 to bring it up to, uh, to bring it up to 2k. So, because of that, I said that, like, huh, it's 2k, but, it, you know, it wasn't directly by, like, the 24-hour charity stream. So, I, uh, so I said that it'd be a maybe is what would be the case. Like, no guarantee. I still don't, uh... Wait, didn't I do it? Was there another one up there that I missed then? Um, but yeah, I, uh... So, is a maybe there? I don't want to say that it's a guarantee that I'm doing Pokemon Black and White. I made a layout for it. I did make a layout for it. I mean, it's not done yet, but I have the general framework of, like, a layout for it. Um, but, uh... I hear one around here somewhere. I just don't know where. It's quite frankly the case. I don't remember. It's been a decent while. Um, what if I pay you $200 right now then? What, to for sure do it? Well, could it be in a building? I don't remember. Like, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe. Like, it sounds like it's up here, is what it sounds like. That's what it very much sounds like there. But yeah, thoroughly burnt out on mainline Pokemon, even the game looks flawless. You won't be too interested right now for Scarlet and Violet. Seem fun despite the visual flaws? Maybe. Maybe they would be, I don't know. I'm so confused. Like, it goes away when I go up here. Is the thing. One of your friends told you the gimmick of Gen 9 will be three type Pokemon. Hope that's true. That would be really fun and really cool, but I don't think it's the kind of thing that I see Pokemon doing. It's in this box, I remember. I remember now. It's this box right here. It's literally this box. How do I, can I grab it? It's this box. It is this box. I don't remember how to open the box. Can I grab the box? I'm so confused. I don't have any explosives, unless this counts, it doesn't. Wait, unless I can like buy bombs or something here. That's gonna be the tutorial on that. Um, nah, nah, it's not. Um, but if you do, you have a huge Poggers reaction. If it'll be a thing, wait, it'll be a thing. You're making your reaction has to be you flipping out. Wait, what? <laughs> you know what? Now, I don't quite know if I quite fully understood that sentence there. Um, but yeah, I still haven't even like fully decided on if I'd be dying my hair green there because like I don't know how long it's gonna last. You know, <laughs> it's something that I'm stuck with for a while. That's like, huh? You know. And I also have, you know, with my social anxiety and whatnot, how often do you see, like, a guy with 
super long hair that's like dyed, you know? Never, I've never seen one. But I mean, maybe that'd just be a good means to like go into the deep end and get over my social anxiety the hard way and stand out and whatnot, you know? All right, I'm consulting the book. I'm consulting the tome, okay? So let's see here. So there's the first dungeon. I should just, I should keep a bookmark somewhere around here so I know like where I'm at. Let's see here. So if I skip all the way ahead to uh, Kakariko Village, yes. How do I, um, how do I get the bottle? All right, let's see here. The roll, it, it's rolling into the crate. Gosh, freaking darn it. No, that's what it is. It's rolling in. I can't believe I forgot that. There was a time that I knew that. And I forgot. Oh, let's put the tome back. Ugh. Just to find out all I needed to do was roll. Gosh darn it. <laughs> do they should have to make a genuine yeah, reaction of me flipping out? I would be genuinely flipping out. But you don't need to be doing... You've already done like so much crazy generous mad ladness. As <laughs> the thing, Kuzma. Like, you don't need to be doing any more of that anytime cheer soon. One, cheer or at all, even. One, I've received the 50 one, bits there, one, Mythic. One, oh my goodness, it's gonna read it out. It's gonna bury Navi. Navi. <laughs> I never beat this game, and I still have. Hey, <laughs> listen, PTSD. <laughs> hey, listen, PTSD, the bot goes. Okay, I did it. There we go. All right, thanks for the uh, bottle. I need that. Look how good the bottle looks in the 3DS version. It looks so dang good. Anyway. But yeah, where's up after a couple months, apparently? Fiance goes every now and then to get a hair dye cause, and go back to her blonde hair color. Because I heard that apparently when... Like, I would need to get my hair bleached, and apparently, like, getting your hair bleached, like, removes the natural color from it. And, uh, so even if the hair dye faded after a couple months, like, would I just be stuck with, like, white hair until the brown grows out again over the course of, like, a great many years? Or how does it work? Because I actually don't know. Let's do that. I mean, I'll need the letter here for the guy up there. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain. Like, because, <laughs> you know, this was grown out to this length over a great many years. So there's a part of me that's kind of hesitant, like, huh, would I only have, like, my natural hair color back after, like, years? Or does your hair, like, would it have to grow out to that again? Or does your hair just, like, get back the natural color? Like, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works, you know? Like, so I'm a little bit sketched out. I have been, uh, I have looked into some places. When I was taking my dad to a recent appointment, we, uh, out, when we were coming back home, we stopped by this restaurant and, uh, our waiter, he had, uh, he had dyed hair and I asked him where he had his hair dyed and it was, it was apparently a place that was close by and I, uh, I've kept the name in mind and I might, uh, I might check the place out at some point here, but I might have to do some research on, I don't know. I'm very on the fence, you know? Yeah, I could dye it back to that, but like, you know, I don't want to have to like dye it every couple months just to, uh, you know, look the way that it normally does. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a, uh, I don't want to make any promises. Like I've been on the fence about it. I've been thinking about it. It might happen, but I don't, <laughs> is, you know, hi, you want to see this cool autograph, man? Oh, this is, this is Shirley Prentice's Aldous handwriting. Well, let's see. Okay. This is Harmonia. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> Look how funny gamers and prisons come up with now. Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> open on up. Just need to do that to uh, open the gate. That's really a really big security issue. If I ever drop my spear, the gate just opens and people can get through. By the way, Mr. Hero, you could have climbed Death Mountain. You should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. Go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market. You should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. Oh, that's the freaking... I think you're good to go. All right, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. Uh, no, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I gave you. Just asking. Good to have a mask shop. He wants a freaking Pikachu mask. Um, and he says it's for his boy, but he just wants to wear it himself. Um, I could get the Hylian shield, but I can't shield like this if I do the Hylian shield. I can only, like, crouch over it because I'm, like, a tiny child. And honestly, I was just going to go to Death Mountain without it, but <laughs> if this thing burns up and I have to go all the way to the Kokiri Forest later to go back to having like the normal shield like this, that's going to be a massive pain. So let's just avoid the possibility of that situation altogether and actually go back. <laughs> that's what I think I'll do. That might not be a half bad idea. 
I think, uh, I think I can get a decent few rupees by going down Zora's River, right? If I recall. Wait. Maybe if I just go this way? But yeah, let's uh, see here. Uh, catch up on the thing where Bob's here. Um, but yeah, went back to the big $500 donations made and your reaction wasn't me flipping out. Well, it was me being flabbergasted was the thing. This actually did a far better job of bearing Navi than you thought they would. Yeah, I can't really see Navi all that much anymore. Can't really see that. Anyway, can't you get like rupees by going down this river? Or does it, it might just be further down. That's what it probably is. Because I might need to gather like rupees. Is what I may have to do, quite frankly. But yeah, uh, dyeing your hair a dark color is much quicker than getting it to a light color. I'm sure it would be, but like... Hmm. Maybe I have to go like down the path for Zora's river. Because I know that you can get like a bunch of rupees from the river. And whatnot. If you're a natural dark hair, a couple couple sessions for a couple weeks to get it to the lighter color you want to get. But if you want to go back to your natural hair color, it'll be a lot easier. It'll only take one session. But then would the natural color that's dyed in be a... Be something that only lasts for a couple months? Would it be? I'm just gonna... I don't know how expensive things are gonna be, you know. Because I could just go to Death Mountain out without the Hylian Shield, but I'm out here this way! I wonder what Saria is doing now! Probably something kinky. Uh, how about going back to the forest sometime? Well... Well... Yeah. Because getting your hair dyed a light color has to get bleached and it takes a few tries, but if you don't get your hair bleached, you make it go dark. I can't get past this right now, can I? We. Whoa! Okay. Well, I'll go down this way and get the few rupees that are associated with this, at least. That's what I will do. Don't know who's worse than Javier the Owl? Kebora Gebora, I believe his name is. If I recall. Okay, maybe it is just further down the river. I think I'm thinking about, uh, you know, when I would do the uh, early clip out of the forest to, like, further on in Zora's River. That's what I'm probably thinking of, and getting like a bunch of blue rupees and stuff that way. Which we evidently didn't do here. Might have to dive, but like, I, I assume that if I was diving for rupees, they would actually visibly be clear rupees there, you know? That's what they would most likely be. No! Go away. Places to be. <laughs> ah! Okay, a little bit too far. Maybe? I don't know. I know there. But yeah, so I have been looking into hair dye things, but you know, I don't want to say that it's like a set in stone 100% guarantee that I'm, uh, you know, getting hair dyed and doing that black and white playthrough. I'm just thinking about it, you know, <laughs> as the thing. I've also mentioned before about like the Minecraft stuff going on in the channel that I want to get like the Minecraft series up to a certain point before I drastically change my look if that happens, you know, so, <laughs> you know. It's a whole bunch of, like, ifs right now. Like, it's something that I wouldn't mind doing if it works out, but realistically looking at, like, the schedule for, like, various projects on this channel, I don't think it's exactly super feasible, quite frankly. Gosh freaking darn it! <sighs> Isn't there, like, a rupee game over here? But yeah, Lapto finally turned back on. I was gonna take another 3,000 years to load back up. Well, but yeah, um, you know why you're being vague? It's a game from the 1990s. Uh, if you're worried about spoilers, then you should play it by now, but still. Oh, for like a, oh yeah, I can take some rupees from here. I did recall indeed. Seems like, hi. Man, I'm so bored. Things would should be a lot more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me. Hey, maybe you could left some seat by breaking some jars. Yeah, it's faster to do this. Quite frankly. And now I know to roll into the boxes. Now I know that. Okay, I'll be able to get the Hylian shield. I was worried that I'd have to go around in the world for 3,000 years. That's what I was kind of worried about. What? There we go. And then... I wonder if he does something if you break all of them. That's the only reason why I'm going after these ones as well. Come on. There we go. Bam. Look at that. Well, not what I wanted to do there. Maybe I'll need to give myself a different two-gate goal, but the charity stream's over. The charity stream's over, and we didn't hit, uh, we didn't hit 2k from, like, the event itself. From, oh, there's a Sculptula here. Wow. Um, is the thing. But we, uh, but we didn't hit it, like, in terms of the charity event itself. We hit 1,700, and then I decided, like, I would contribute a bit after the event and round up to 2k for the actual donation was the thing. But 
I don't know if my contribution exactly uh, directly counts towards the rewards for what uh, <laughs> what was raised from the charity event, you know? Um, okay, um, there's that there. But yeah, um, yeah, I was like, I'll add it there. But now that it was like, you know, we came close to it, but, you know, I rounded up to 2k for, you know, my contribution, so I donated a little bit over $200 to Larch there for the event. Yeah, so I guess nothing special happens if you, uh... Gosh dang it! If you do that. Um... So yeah, I don't want to say it's guaranteed set in stone that I'd be doing that. It's just a whole bunch of freaking things to figure out right now, and... See if things work out. I don't know. I don't know. We shall, uh, we shall see. I might still do it, but, like... Because I think a Pokemon Black and White playthrough would be cool to do, like, in preparation for Scarlet and Violet. It's just that with, like, hair as long as mine, if I need to wait for literally years for, like, it to no longer, you know, have its color removed, that sounds like a massive, massive pain, and I don't know if I want to put up with that over the course of, like, a great many years just for the sake of, like, one playthrough. You know? Ah! The whole situation with that. I'm not- oh, this shop is over here. I'm not quite certain if, uh... Like, it'd be cool if- if I could do, like, a temporary hair dye option, that would only be, like, you know, a couple months, something like that, and then it's gone, so, and then I'm back to my natural color, like, no problemo. Then it's like, okay, that'd be just fine. But if, uh, but if I have to put up with, like, my hair only growing its actual natural color over the course of, like, a great many years, um, yeah, boop it about. there's that. Um, like, for this length here? Like, I don't, I don't know how many years this would be at this point. Probably like six or seven to get to this length. I don't know if I want to spend like the better part of a decade getting back to this just because of, you know, one playthrough, you know? I don't know if that's exactly the play, you know? So there's that. That's what makes things weird. And hello, hello, Shadow Journey. And what also makes things weird is the fact that if I did, you know, undergo like a drastic different change in how I uh how I look I'd only want to do that after reaching the midpoint of my uh of the Minecraft series that I'm doing is the thing which it's still gonna take a good while to work up gosh dang it towards that because the story that I'm telling with the Minecraft series that we're doing on the channel I might try to uh you know have after the midpoint be like I vis I've visibly appear different in like some ways, like have a different scarf on that doesn't have as much color and whatnot. Maybe I'd have my hair down instead of tied back. I don't know. Have like a slightly different skin in game, something like that. Sometimes it just like symbolize that like there's been a change here, you know? So if I was doing that like before the midpoint of that series, it wouldn't really fit into the story. So if I would be doing that at some point anyway, if I do decide to do it, I'd only want to be after the midpoint. And preparing like the story stuff up until the midpoint i'm not even close to done like preparing the stuff yet i do have like several episodes recorded in advance right now but like the story stuff that i'm preparing to get up to that midpoint let's just say that there's a very ambitious project that's in the works just for building up lore like that uh the i believe it was episode nine or was it episode eight one of the one of the two there um, whatever episode started introducing the backstory, I believe it was episode 9 there. You know how I did, like, a whole dedicated build of that just to, like, have, like, some cutscenes from the past and whatnot? Well, just imagine that, but on steroids, is what I'm trying to work on for, like, the, uh, <laughs> for, like, the big kind of thing where Bob that'd be discovered lore-wise. So, <laughs> and I'd say that there's probably less than half of it made so far. So, you know, it's, um... It's really weird. So if I did, if I did wind up doing that in the future and I did wind up doing it, you know, <laughs> if I did try to do it before Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet release to try and get a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White going before, uh, before Scarlet and Violet. I don't know if that's exactly feasible for, uh, <laughs> getting to the midpoint of my Minecraft stuff before then, you know, that's, uh, that's really, really sketchy. So I'm... It's a whole bunch of, like, you know, a whole bunch of variables that I'm trying to balance here that, um, you know, just don't really seem like they can fit together in a meaningful way. Anyway, yeah, this is, uh, this is now. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's that.
but yeah, have seen people have their hair dyed for a couple months, then it's gone. But yeah, but wouldn't your natural color still be removed? But yeah, you've been doing your research too, because like you said, you still plan to get your hair dyed too. An appointment at, for at the end of the month. Depends on which styles to get your hair dyed. But again, I'm gonna have to take at least many months to get to the midpoint of the uh, Minecraft series. And if I take a great many months to do that, I would not have a lot of time before Scarlet and Violet releases to do a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White. So just like the timetable of it, like the time frame of things, I just don't really see a way in which things work out like timing wise, you know? Because part of me would like to get a playthrough of Pokemon Black and White done before Pokemon Scarlet and Violet releases, but I would also want it to be after the midpoint of, uh, you know, Peculiar Potions is at least recorded. But I don't really see that being all that feasible unless I can just, you know, do it so super duper speed and maybe get some nerds to help me out with uh, the building of, like, the super ambitious thing. Whoops, that's not the roll button. I don't... I would have to literally go, like, full steam ahead to both these projects, like, right now and do, like, nothing else for it to even be feasible for me to, like, get there in time. And I don't know if I can, uh... If I can quite do that, you know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here, man. Okay, that's not the that's not the way there. But yeah, gonna want some building help with that block gathering help. The uh the backstory stuff is just being done in creative mode. I'm not gonna be doing like <laughs> I'm not gonna be going all the way over there in like survival mode to build something just for like backstory stuff. The uh all the stuff that has nothing to do with like the actual playthrough there, but rather the story that's going on alongside it, that's being done in creative mode. Is what that is. Like, the freaking... The ruined village in episode 9, that was not done in survival mode. That was done in creative mode. <laughs>